Well, here we go. We finally have some confirmation and footage of what one of the new maps will look like on Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Marina Bay Grand Prix was leaked actually before, and I will show some of the leaked ones that we've uh, still got to wait on confirmation for on screen in a few minutes. But yeah, we have Marina Bay. It's obviously based on the street circuit in Singapore that's sometimes on the F1 calendar. And it spells the start of some of the confirmed leaks for Modern Warfare 2. Now, this all came alongside the uh, Call of Duty Championships that LA Thieves just won. Congratulations to them. Um, but yeah, so a lot of it was confirmed just through all of the uh, in-between sections that they had, some of the breaks that they had. They had a lot of delays within the stream. And um, I believe this was after second or third map within the best of nine final series. So uh, Marina Bay is the first map that we actually have real footage of and not just screenshots of. And from the trailer, you can sort of see that there's the active dynamic element of the map with the cars going around the track seen this on a few maps before on Black Ops 2 and even some of the more recent CODs as well. Uh, AW2 Recovery comes to mind with the doors opening and going around the backside of the, the map. Um, it looks pretty good. I think some of the pro reaction and some of the content creator reaction to who, those that have played the map already are that it is quite refreshing to play. The colors are quite vibrant and nice, as you can see through the, the clip that's playing now. And I think the middle part of the map, similar to Express, I saw a few people talking about from Black Ops 2 or, you know, whatever you play on uh, Cold War as well. It's quite similar to that with the tight, narrow middle corridor and then the rest of the map sort of fleshing out off the back of that. Um, so it looks pretty good, but we do have some more that are leaked but haven't been confirmed just yet. But judging by the fact that this one was a correct leak, I think we have good good reference that the other ones are probably going to be right as well. So let me now go through some of the sort of leaked maps and just bring them up onto the screen now. Right, so on to some of the leaked maps now. So obviously here we had the Marina Bay that's now been fully confirmed. This is why I think we should now be expecting maybe that some of these ones might also be confirmed. They aren't all for MW2, some might be Warzone 2 as well, but let's go on to the first one here that we have. Now, I believe that one or two of these might be Warzone 2 or DMZ or something like that. One of them will be uh, included on that. But as you can see, this came from Reality UK. They did some great work going over this a few weeks ago. And I thought maybe now is another time to bring it up. Now that the, the hype around it has died a little bit, we can start thinking, is it actually going to be true that a lot of these are now confirmed as well? So that we've got this map here. We also have this one, which I believe is going to be Warzone 1. We have this one as well, which I think is either going to be a Warzone 1 or a Modern Warfare map. They might be together though. I'm not entirely sure if they're doing that again with the maps that you know are similar to the like positions or whatever on on um, the Warzone map as well. We also have this one here, which I know is going to be a map, and I think was played at some of the playtests that they've already done. I believe it's a museum type map. Um, and so yeah, there's some of the the leaked maps that we could potentially have confirmed, or some of the locations on the Warzone map confirmed uh, over the next few weeks, months as we come into it. Speaking of confirming news, we have Call of Duty Next as well as the beta dates that we'll, we'll go over in a minute as well. But yeah, Call of Duty Next appears to be sort of like the next event showcase that they are going to start doing. It might even become something that they do for every year or every few months now as well, just to release information on Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. I believe they'll do it for Warzone, Mobile, and in general, their content creator integration as well. Just in general, how they bring everyone together for that. I think they'll do it all through through Call of Duty Next now, as they call it. So that comes out on September 15th. I believe it will probably be a stream or something like that. And uh, we'll probably get a lot of information there. Like I said, it will be about Warzone. It'll be, be about uh, the mobile games. It'll be about Modern Warfare 2. The beta releases the day after, which we'll get onto in a second. And I think we'll also have gameplay then with content creators all playing in a 6v6 envir environment, uh, probably on LAN. We say LAN, is it? It's realistically... Online Call of Duty just in person because land doesn't exist anymore, does it? So yeah, Call of Duty Next though does appear to be sort of the the next news outlets that they're going to start producing onto. Um, loads of information to come with that probably. There's not much to say right now. So let's have a look at the beta and some of the beta dates. So Modern Warfare 2 beta. We finally have dates for it. Annoyingly for I think a lot of us PlayStation exclusivity is still a thing. I mean console exclusivity, any exclusivity is kind of cringe these days I think. But let's live with it and go with, with what we think uh, is going to happen. So we have early access the day after Call of Duty next for early access on PlayStation if you've pre-ordered the game. We have the open beta on the 18th to the 20th. And on the weekend, the second weekend, we have the crossplay full beta for everyone else. If you pre-ordered on Xbox, PC, you now have early access to the game as well. And if you didn't, and it's just want to be like open beta, you just want to try it out, September 24th to the 26th is when you will get that. So I think we could be happy with that. The only concern I think we have is that literally less than a month after or around a month after the beta ends for everyone, we'll have the game releasing, which means they only have a month to really work on any problems they find within the game. And it's Call of Duty, so there is going to be a lot of problems. 
And I think we just sort of have to live with that and the fact that on release is probably going to be a bit rough. But they are promising a lot of things. Um, I believe they said that we're going to have the Warzone new map, or the Warzone new game, should I say, out this year specifically. They said, it, I think, in an investor's call, uh, they said that. We should also definitely have ranked play pretty quickly because that's been a pile of pressure lately for them. So I think we should look forward to it. And I think Call of Duty Next is going to give us a lot of information on that. But I will attempt to keep you guys posted on anything that's like interesting news-wise. And obviously when the beta comes as well, there'll be a lot of gameplay, probably a lot of videos on that for um, a lot of information to be shared upon that. And it'll be really good to see. And I'm looking forward to it. Although I am scared that it's only a month after that that we get the game releasing. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mess. But we'll see when it comes to it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.